Hey guys, what's up? Stritonus here once again. We are back, Mass Effect 2. And, surprise, surprise, I don't think the camera is centered perfectly. Actually, I think it is. Wow. No, it's not. Freak. <sighs> Alright, there we go. Right, that, that, that's as good as it's gonna get, right there. Okay, well... It's been about a week, so pretty good considering my previous record for the last few months. I'm gonna try to do it a little bit even more often than this. This whole playthroughing thing, but still trying to get in the whole swing of things. I've been out of it for so long. Talked to a few people here. Commander. What's up? I assume everything is going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Oh? Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. Dream sequence? The mission, the squad, the good old days. I think we've already discussed all this stuff. Oh, great. Friggin' Agent Mains is That's online. <laughs> See you, Commander. Friggin <laughs> He's ruining the continuity of my video. Hang on. <laughs> Alright. Preferences? Uh, notifications... Turn off notifications. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I, I'm usually good about turning that stuff off before I do a playthrough, but I guess I forgot today. Uh, anyway. Guess we should go out and uh, talk to all the people on the ship before we head no out. Messages for you, Commander. I'm aware of that. I just checked my messages. Most useless woman in the friggin' ship. Alright, let's see. Let's go over to the weapons thing over here. Weapons thingy. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. Butt kisser. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. <clears throat> Butt kisser. <clears throat> Did you hear something? It is a risky assignment. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. He took away my Christmas bonus, those jerks. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Glad to have you aboard. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Well, you know, now that you mention it, since you're a tailor, you know, this suit's kind of too snug in certain areas, if you know what I mean. You know, just, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, you're, you're not that kind of tailor? Oh, well. All right, I'll just leave you alone, then. That was a horrible joke. I'm, I am ashamed of myself. That was a horrible joke. Morton, please take some, take some of this embarrassment away. Shepard, how can I help? You got a minute? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that. Actually, talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. Huh. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Uh -huh. Work on genophage was more than just study. Well, yeah. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Okay, so they were popping them out quicker. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> <laughs> Never met Krogan scientist worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Cough drops. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Hmm. Alright, what should I say? This is a major threat. I'm not going to say that. Uh, what happened next? This is good news. I'm going to remain neutral on this matter. It's like abortion. There's too much drama around it. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. 
created new version of Genophage, released it on Tuchanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. I have no idea what he just said. All right, uh, this was the best choice? You never considered other options? Hundreds, thousands. Modified Genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. Okay, seems fair. You know, beside the whole sterilization of the entire species thing, but you know, otherwise it's pretty fair. Uh, distribution of virus, don't care, effects of modification, we already know that. Uh, makes it so that their little boys can't swim, if you know what I mean. Let's see, what did you, what you did was wrong. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna remain neutral on this matter. I doubt you told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. If you say so, dude. If you say so. Why is it... Why do the doors have to open even if you're like 50 feet away from them? Somebody just dropped something outside. Uh, upgrades. Can't afford those. Oh, I can't afford these, though. See, a trauma module. Unity heals your squad to full health. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Sweet. Anything else here? Tech duration? Nah, I don't really use tech that much. Of course, some of my squad mates do, so I may want to think about it. Uh, tech damage. That's cheap, I'll take that. Ooh, tech cooldowns. Squad bonus 20% faster cooldown on tech abilities. Alright. Why not? Tech duration, again, it's cheap, I'll take it. I really want these, though. Help increase my shields. Uh, ship enhancements, medbay upgrade... Why would I ever waste resources on this from Parion? Prototypes, advanced training... Nah. Avalanche... Uh, to be honest, this weapon's kind of useless. Okay, I think I've pretty much done everything I can in here. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Wow, is she actually going to keep quiet this time? Wow. Alright, where do I want to go? Let's go to the cruise quarters. Mass Effect 2 loading screens. The bane of my existence. It wouldn't bother me so much if they weren't so unappealing. Like, they, they, they just don't look that visually appealing to me. Alright, starboard observation deck, crew quarters, there's never anything going on in here. Women's restroom. <laughs> Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. What? What? Oh, I... I knew that. I, I knew that. <laughs> what made you think I didn't know that, Edie? Kasumi. What's up? People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Okay, too much information. I really appreciate your help with the Hawk Heist. I know why we Hawk Heist? destroy Keiji's gray box. But it doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, I still want to know how he managed to fit that whole thing in his head. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Yeah, it is pretty, isn't it? Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. He is. They think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. Yes, it's, that's true. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Oh, I'm sure. Now, if you click on all these things, you get a bunch of interesting backstory about how she got all this stuff, but to be honest, I don't really care, so I'm just going to... I've heard it so many times, I really don't care anymore. I'm just gonna walk away. All the doors are opening when I walk past them, and it's annoying me. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. <gasps> Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah, he's taking it pretty hard. He's hitting the booze pretty hard. Dr. 
Chuck was. How may I help you, Commander? Oh, yeah, I got your brandy. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. Actually, I did. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Let's do it. Let's get smashed. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. Look at that smile. She knows she's gonna get wasted. I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! Hearing her say awesome is so weird. Oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. I want to know what her definition of enthusiasm is before I agree or disagree with that. With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. What? As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often, they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. You're lonely? Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship, just stability. Hmm. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolex Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but sadly, it's true. It is, it is. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or hell. Maybe it's you. Hey now. Shepherd. Our immovable center. A place for a person to stop and catch a breath. Hey now. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? Let's see, what should we say? A toast to friends, a toast to the Alliance, a toast to the Fallen, a toast to Joker. Here's to simply being happily drunk. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Indeed. It... <coughs> this is some cheap stuff, Doc. Uh-oh. She's freaking passed out on the bed. It's, by the way, it's an excellent view right there, thanks. Bioware, I really needed that view of an old woman's um, lady bits. What's up, Gardener? Commander! Those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Okay, if you insist. Though I just got completely wasted on brandy, so... Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Racism. You gotta love racism. Garrus. Shepard. Need me for something? What's up, bro? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we joined up with them sooner. Hey, 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 we're not with them. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Hmm, should we investigate this? What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Hmm. Seems like a reputable organization. You were a thug, gangs must have hated you. Say, uh, gangs must have hated you. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. 
would hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Well, apparently they did, since it didn't go that well. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. Okay, so how'd you get a group together? That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Yeah, it pretty much does. Well, you know, we can't all be amazing and perfect like me. Shing! Sparkle, sparkle. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. The usual? Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. A oh, diverse group, all right. Sounds like a recipe for success. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Like a ninja? Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. You know, it really disturbs me that I can see the bullet hole in the back of your armor. You couldn't patch that up with... What did they call it in the first game? Omnigel? Whatever that stuff's made out of? I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Yeah, maybe he died too. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first? No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. Uh -huh. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Yeah, it looks like you got screwed over, buddy. Tough luck. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Yeah, okay. Go be angsty and broodings to yourself there. Don't let me bother you. One day, Garrus Vicarian turned from a good cop to a cop who doesn't play by the rules. Coming this summer. <laughs> I, I just imagine Garrus just, like, putting on a black cape and a mask and going, I'm Batman. I can't do that really raspy version that Christian Bale does. If I try to, it hurts my throat. Monitoring station. Uh, drop shuttle. Oh, it must be all the cooling fans in this place. It must be why it's such a comfortable temperature. I just heard the collectors hit the Ferris Fields colony. Everyone's gone. Shit! We're going to make those dirty bug outs pay. Indeed, lad, indeed. Now come and drink some nice scotch with me. They have to pick the most stereotypical Irish or Scottish. It's Scottish, isn't it? I'm, I'm probably going to get killed for saying this, but I cannot tell the difference between a Scottish and an Irish accent at times. I know, I know, there is a difference. It's just that I'm not observant enough to pick out the differences. Please don't kill me. How dare you say that we sound like Irish people? I am insulted, good sir. Now, this is Zaid's little hideout here. He creeps me out, so I'm gonna get out of here. Get the hell out of my space. 
Should I go to the captain's cabin? I, you know, I just got back from a mission, so I might want to... F oh, I don't have any fish. Do I have fish? I guess it's a good thing I'm going to my cabin then, so I can check to see if I have any fish. Oh, I do have fish. Alright, feed fish. Dude, I was so sad the first time I played this game, and I got this huge tank full of fish, and I came back later after a few missions, and they were, I was like, Where'd they all go? Why are they floating at the top of the tank? Of course, isn't that the way with anybody who starts trying to take care of any fish, even in real life? Why are they all at the top of the tank? Are they having a party? Mm-hmm. No messages for you, Commander. Son of a... One of these days, I'm going to check those messages before she has a chance to tell me. Alright, enough with chatting with everyone on the ship. Beckenstein? Close cousin of Frankenstein, in case you guys didn't know. The Serpent Nebula, which looks little to nothing like an actual serpent. Well, maybe that... Yeah, thank you, Edie. I really needed to know that. Because, you know, there is no clear indicator on the side of the screen. Okay, should I go and help Zaid with his loyalty mission, or should I recruit the Krogan or the Convict? Huh. Choices, choices, choices. I'm, I'm not going to investigate Project Overlord yet. <clears throat> not going to do that yet. Let's see. Krogan? Convict. Krogan? Convict. I'll go with Convict. Alright, Prison Ship Purgatory. Sounds like a nice, friendly place. And it looks like a comb. Oh, this should be good. Yes, kids, now with these detailed plans, you yourself can own your own interstellar space travel vehicle. With only three easy payments of fourteen ninety-nine. Might as well split the video. 